So, um, April is not a good month for me. Uh, a lot of events happened. In my personal life, I had two deaths that I had to deal with, and that affected my depression so badly. Even though you've, if you've seen my videos, I'm, I look happy and I'm cheery, and but really on the inside, I was extremely depressed, and I cried for a long time, and it, it just, everything just hurt. I didn't know what to do. I was, I kept calling my, my family and just talking with them and trying to process everything and all the stress that I was going through. Um, uh, the, the, one of the deaths was a, a man who was like my grandfather. Even though I never got to meet my grandfather because my parents' dads died in back in the, not the 20th century and so I never got to meet meet them so this guy was like the grandfather my sister and I never had he was a great man he lived to 93 and uh, I <laughs> he was funny and very humorous uh, I'm definitely I already miss him and <sighs> that was really hard and I mean, we were expecting that it was going to happen but when it did happen it was like what it happened a week after Easter so the last time I saw him was on Easter which was a great day we all had a lot of fun and he <laughs> it's I have not yeah. he sat we were doing this egg hunt and um they hid it everywhere around the house, in cereal boxes, in the paper shredder, and I went up to my grandfather and I, uh, I again, I consider him my grandfather. Um, I said, Grandpa, are you sitting on an egg? He said, I don't know, probably not. Later on, I went back to him because someone couldn't find their egg, and I said again, and my mom was like, wait, I think we need to check. She went in the pillow, and of course, he was sitting on an egg. Uh, he was had it as his backrest, but he was a great guy. It, it, it's that is my latest, latest, like one of my favorite memories of him. So yeah, and then the other death that I dealt with. I mean, it was. I mean, it was sad. I mean, I knew it was a horse. Her name was Vanna. She was twenty five years old, which is pretty good for a horse. Um, she had a leg problem. She laid down. And horses can lay down for so long, and then you have to. Um, so she was euthanized, but she was a great horse, great with the little ones, and um, everyone loved her. Her, her trots were bouncy, but I loved riding her, and I am, and I miss her, and I'm going to miss her. Um, but this all leads into like how I'm trying to process my emotions and like my sadness and dealing with it. Like, I don't want to deal with it in a bad way. I'm dealing with it in talking with my parents and letting out my emotions, crying to my pillow and just trying to like, I don't know how to say it, but having to bring that with my daily life, going to school and work, it was hard for me to concentrate because I was trying to A, not cry, and B, just trying to look happy. I do appear happy in my videos, but really I was like, when is this month gonna be over? I don't want, I hate April right now. So like, what's gonna happen next? Because I knew bad things were happening and I was like, well, what's next? Um, and now it's May. So, uh, I'm gonna start making videos about emotions and like, like insecurities that I have. And honestly, opening up with you. Cause I have FASD, fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. I, I, have a, I have autism, I have anxiety, depression, and I'm wanting, I don't wanna bottle it up. I wanna open up and share with you my experiences and what I've gone through and what I've tried to, and how I process with everything.
So that's what I'm hoping my videos can do. I wanna reach out to others who are suffering and going through the same thing. And I really hope that my videos can help you with uh, the videos I'm gonna be posting like this. They're gonna be all unedited. The only kind of editing I'm gonna do is inserting photos. So for these longer videos, no edits, no cuts, no jumps. Just photos inserted, and that's it. I cannot wait for you guys to watch these, and hopefully I can help you, and we can help each other. So, as, and we can learn. Anyway, as my favorite singer, Sia, says, I love you, keep going, and I mean it, I really do. Guys are amazing. I love. Uh, I know that I love that people are watching and knowing that, and especially now knowing that I'm going through a lot and to know that like I'm not a perfect person. I'm not. No one is. But I really hope these can these videos can help not only me but others as well. So thank you for watching. You're thank you. Just thank you.